Hi, it's Bimmerzen with another short video on BMW's N42 engine. This is my new daily driver, the E46 Compact with the 2-liter version of this engine. And I've been having some engine problems lately, so let me just show you what's going on. I'm gonna start the engine. So it starts fine, but then when I give it some gas, I don't know if you can hear, but it feels like it's running or accelerating on three cylinders only. So if I rev up slowly, everything seems to be working fine. But if I give it the gas very fast, if I just step on the gas, it just uh, stutters and it won't rev up. So this is kind of a big deal because it's hard to drive in city traffic where you have to stop and start a lot. So uh, let's see what's going on. The first thing you want to do is to scan the car for codes. And I have my laptop here with the IMPA running and I have my OBD cable connected. So I scan for error codes and I save them in a PDF file. So uh, let's go through the errors that I got. So five errors overall. And the first error is 2754. Überwachtung Zunspule 3. That means that it is monitoring coil number three. And uh, let's see the error description. It says Kurzschluss nach plus oder nicht impedance. That means that there's a short circuit to the plus or there's no impedance in the coil. So there's definitely something going on here. Next, I have the secundar uh, loof system. This is the secondary air pump which is disconnected at the moment so this is uh, not connected to our issue so we can ignore it for now then we have 274e Auszerkennung zoomen filler that basically means let's check the error description cut shading and Auszer I think that that means that the ECU is detecting a possible harmful effect on the catalytic converter. So it is monitoring and probably shutting down this cylinder. And then we have another error. 2743. Auszerkennung cylinder number 3. Let's check the error description. So another similar error, Katja again the Auszetza, that basically means the same. So it's trying to protect the catalytic converter or detects harmful effect for the catalytic converter on this cylinder. And then we have another error, 2781, Nockenweller Geber that means the Venus unit for the intake, Fasenflankenzahl. So that basically means that uh, position of the intake camshaft is unplausible. Not sure what that is. So if you have a specific cylinder mentioned, the best option is to just switch the coil from another cylinder. So for example, you can switch coil from cylinder number four to the number three position and then you move the coil number three to the number four and then we can observe if the error moved to that cylinder and if that happens then we have a bad coil because as you can see we also get some other error codes that could be connected to this code so let's do that now I already removed all of the engine covers on the intake manifold and on the coils. I also had to remove the cabin filter housing and the wiring so I can get to this part. So here is the number three coil and I'm gonna take it out now. And I can see that this coil was already replaced. This is not the original coil from BMW and here is the coil number four I'm gonna switch them around 
So I'm gonna take it out. This one is a bit stuck. You can use a screwdriver to pull it out like this. And I'm gonna put it in the number three spot. Snap it in, connect the wires, make sure that it's fully in, so just press it a little bit. And the number three coil goes into number four cylinder. Press it in, connector in. Okay, we're now ready to start the engine again. Let's give it some gas. And yes, so the symptoms are the same. You can see that it's still skipping a bit. It still feels like it's running on three cylinders only. Okay, so the problem is still here. Now let's see if the problem moved to cylinder number four. Okay, so I've saved the errors from IMPA and I have them in this PDF file. So if I go through the errors. I still have the same catalytic converter warning. And now if I move down, I can see that the error moved to cylinder number four. And I can also see that it's basically the same error, but on different cylinder. So this is actually a very good sign. Here is also another code that is now on cylinder number four with the same error description. So uh, short circuit to plus or impedance is wrong. So we're lucky here because that means that our coil is bad. So luckily I have another spare coil laying around. Don't ask me how or why. So I'm gonna put it in and try again. Okay, let's take out the coil number three that is now in cylinder four. Let's put in the new coil that I have. Well, it's not new, it's just spare from another engine that I know it works. So let's put it in. Press it in. Connect the connector. Make sure that it's seated all the way down. And let's have another try. Contact. Fingers crossed. So the engine starts just fine. Now let's give it some gas. Oh yeah. Yep. Runs like a baby. Well, a baby that started walking or running. <laughs> okay. So let's take it for a test drive and see what happens. Okay, just back from the test drive. Let's check IMPA again, and I'm gonna scan for errors. Well, actually, <laughs> I have to turn on the ignition, of course. Let's try again. And no errors. So this is an easy way to fix this error, or at least test for this error, just switch the coils. This is definitely one of the first thing that you should do when you get this kind of behavior or uh, error specific to one cylinder. But the interesting part is that yesterday when I was scanning the car for codes, I got all sorts of other errors that are not related to coil. So let's go through it. So the first error is the second error, error system. This is not connected to this problem. But the second error mentions the MAF sensor. And it says that the signal is out of uh, tolerance or uh, short circuit to minus. And then I got another error for the uh, air temperature. And also it mentions short circuit to plus or disconnected. So the line error, like it's disconnected. And again, I have this uh, cylinder number three issue with the ignition coil. And also the same errors that I had before. 
So also another mention of cylinder number three. So the interesting thing is that bad coil can cause errors on the mass airflow sensor. That's really, really interesting, right? So uh, if you are not aware of this possibility, you might go and buy another mass airflow sensor, you replace it and the problem is still here. So again, if you have a specific cylinder mentioned, like here, uh, ignition coil number three, always try and just switch the coils before you start replacing all sorts of parts. So uh, this should be a good starting point. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if you have N42 or N46 engines. I do a lot of work on them. And uh, keep them and continue the art of BMW maintenance.